What's up with the YouTube? It's your boy Kang here. We'll be back in the building with another video, man. Hey, today on the menu, uh, we got the uh Tyson versus Jake Powell fight. Uh, just a little review of uh what took place over the weekend and some of the reactions to what had happened. Uh, I know the fight was last Friday, that was about two days ago. Uh, but this is my first time uh being able to sit down and get at it, man. And, and give my opinion and reaction on it. I've seen a lot of reaction um, this weekend about what happened. And uh, believe me, man, it was, it, was, it was a spectacle. More of a spectacle than a boxing match, if you ask my opinion. That's my personal opinion. But, hey, um, if people want to pay for a spectacle, that's, you know, that's kind of normal in today's age. Well, people are always pay to see a spectacle, you know, whether it's a the circus or concert, you know, people pay to go and see animals, you know. So if if it's something interesting, people will watch, people will pay to go see it. So nothing wrong with that. And also they didn't charge fifty bucks, they didn't charge eighty bucks for some pay per view match. It was on Netflix. So if you already had Netflix, you can go and see it for free, enjoy it. Um, so everybody got a chance to see a, see something that night. I'm not going to say got a chance to see a good fight. Cause that's not what that was. Uh, but, uh, like I said, man, some of the reactions was funny, man. You had some people reactions. Uh, you had, um, folk like magic Johnson, uh, magic Johnson, of course, spoke about the, um, other fighters that were on the ticket. Um, and those fights were good fights. And in my opinion, they did a real good job of that. You know, they knew that this Tyson and Paul situation was just going to be a a spectacle. You know, it wasn't going to be a real fight. But they did have real good boxers on the rest of the card. You know, and uh, Matty Johnson did speak about him. said, I just watched one of the greatest championship fights I've ever seen between Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor. It was action packed uh, right from the first round. Both women came to fight. Uh, they put on the show for us all to see, uh, everybody that watched on Netflix. Congratulations to Taylor on winning a tough fight, even though I believe that Serrano was the winner. That, so that was his uh, opinion on, on some of the rest of the people that fought. And um, I personally didn't watch those fights. I was kind of busy while that was going on. I watched the main event. Everybody said that, you know, the other guys were really good. But when, but when Magic Johnson, when one of the goats get to talking about one of the other goats of boxing, Mike Tyson, he he got a different opinion, man. Magic Johnson said, uh, just sad, shaking my head. I cut it off because I couldn't watch anymore. It's sad to see Mike Tyson like this because – I went I, I went to every Tyson fight. You know, um, this fight tonight was not great for boxing. Um, you know, he is one of the people that was photographed, I believe, walking out of the tunnel with Mike Tyson, um, him and a bunch of other stars. You know, so he is um, used to seeing Mike at his peak, at his prime. And, and like you said, this wasn't it. This wasn't it by a long shot. But see, I will say, does kind of remind me of Magic Johnson coming back um, to play basketball after he had been diagnosed. Uh, he wasn't the same player. So, uh, and, and at that time, he probably should have uh, given up the game. You know, he was already a Hall of Fame, already a legend. But this kind of reminds me of that. So, uh, he probably know what Mike going through a little bit. But if I was him, I, I wouldn't talk too much noise, though. That's my only thing. Don't talk too much noise now. Because, you know, we've seen you not want to give it up at some point. Uh, but he wasn't 60 years old on it, so I'll give him that. We got uh, Terrence Crawford. Okay, we got a real boxer, Terrence Crawford. Says here, I love Mike Tyson. 
but they're giving him too much credit. He looked like trash to train that long only to throw 97 punches. The whole fight is crazy. I'm just glad he didn't get hurt out there. So that, that's a real boxer giving his real opinion. You know? And, and I feel him. I mean, this has been going on. I thought this wasn't even going to happen. It's been going on for so long and been getting talked about for like a couple of years now, I see. And um, finally it happened. But we've been seeing Tyson train for this the whole, the whole way. Now, I will tell you, man, when, when I looked at that fight, when I looked at that first round, Tyson did look like he was training. And like I said, to me, in my opinion, this wasn't a real fight. I think in a lot of people's opinion, it wasn't a real fight. So you saw Tyson, I believe, glimpses of him still kind of having it. But when the promoter is in the ring with you, maybe maybe you can't be yourself. You know, I definitely feel like you know that's what it was. The fight went the distance. Mike got twenty million. You know that was the script. Um, we got the game weighing in. The game, you know, uh, game say I see all these weirdo celebrity niggas saying Mike looked bad. This was sad and disgusting, etc. Y'all goofy. I saw a 58-year-old legend go eight rounds with a 27-year-old in front of the world in a sold-out football stadium and walk away with $20 million. His dignity and yet another achievement, he said, was only for him. I'm proud of you, champ. So that's, that's the game giving him his props, which I give Mike the same props. That, that's a twenty. That's a twenty million dollar payday. Like he can legit sit back and see. I, I don't know what Mike is worth currently. I don't know. Maybe I should look that up. But if 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 he if he needed a nice little paycheck to ride off into the sunset with, this was it. This was it, man. And I don't hate it one bit. I don't hate it one bit. You know, I'm not hating on Jake Paul either. You know, a lot of people are, are now starting to really, really, really say, oh, he's being a culture vulture now. They're using that because he's fighting uh, black legends or black stars. Um, but, hey, uh, it's a capitalistic society, man. We know that. You got a, another real boxer. You got another real boxer here, man. To the bozo that shared the ring with Mike. You a whole bozo for this, and you didn't get the job done. Basically, saying he didn't he didn't knock out Mike. You know, which I don't think either of them was supposed to get knocked out in this situation. Like I say, it wasn't a part of the script. wasn't a part of the script at all. You know, and uh, we got here a uh, trick daddy. Says here, these supposed to be the rules of the fight. Now, this is a legend. I don't know if this is true or not, but these these are these are the alleged rules of the fight. Uh, the rules for the Mike Tyson versus Jake Powell fight are designed to favor Jake Powell. These include the rules are extremely favorable to Jake Powell. Uh, the contract will incentivize Mike Tyson to lose and give Jake Paul an opportunity to choose himself as the winner. Uh, the first stipulation in the contract will punish Tyson for knocking out Jake Paul because he's paid on a sliding scale per round. If Tyson knocks Jake out in the first round, he will receive no money. If he knocks him out in the second round, he will only make a small amount of cash. Uh, for Tyson to make the most money, he needs to survive all eight rounds, which means avoiding knocking Jake out. If the fight goes to a split decision, it favors Jake Paul because the judges 
have been approved by Jake Powell. Like once once again, like I said, uh, Jake Powell is the promoter. So you know, it's allegedly it's rigged in his favor. Allegedly, this is all alleged. I, I mean, you know, but you know, you think you know, you see in Mike Tyson, you know, when you see that steel shot right there, man. What, tell me what you think in your head when you see that steel shot right there. You think Mike for the knock this dude out in the first round, and like I said. In that first round, I seen glimpses of the old Mike Tyson. This could have been that. This could have... Come on, man. You telling me that that wasn't supposed to be a knockout right there? We see we we haven't even seen Mike Tyson knock somebody out being in that good of a position before. Not me. You know, to me, when I see Mike Tyson knock most dudes out, it's like he barely tapped him right there. That's a full force punch. You know what I'm saying? But instead, you know, eventually we got this. This is this is what we got. We got hugging. We got, you know, people bowing before the fight is over with. You know. I, I think you know uh, they just let everybody know that yeah this is this is a spectacle, <clears throat> but it was an, an event nonetheless. But uh, yeah, too much too much of that man. But like we got uh you got your boy uh Stack Five Stack Five uh City and say uh that's Stephen Jackson, one of my favorite uh NBA players, Stephen Jackson. You got my respect and the hustler of the year. Hate him all you want. This MF got the juice. Jake Powell, salute. Keep winning, dog. He know how to get a bag. Argue with says argue with your broke daddy. That's what Steve that's what Steven Jackson said. So he in favor of Jake Powell or what Jake Powell is doing. And that's getting that money. And listen, uh another black man got paid. Mike Tyson, like I said got paid, got got a chance to get back in the ring and, and do what he loved. I don't think Mike Tyson is ashamed at all, man. He, he, I think Mike Tyson loved every bit of this. I think he loved every bit of this and, and got a major payday and get to ride off in the sunset and continue to do his podcasting because, you know, he, he, he do do, you know, the podcast and everything like that. You know, what Boots he got to say? 58 years old and went and got 20 M. I'm proud of him. Give me 20 million right now. Anybody give me 20 million right now, I'm jumping in the ring with Javante. Tank got to knock me out. 20 mil fight on Netflix with Boosie. Yeah, we, we hey, we, we going to break the numbers. I'm going to throw more than Tyson throw, I bet you that. <laughs> Nigga might put me up, but hey, 20 me, I need that 20 M. Shit, I'm going to throw them bitches. 58 years old. Yeah, so you heard it first, man. Boosie. Boosie ain't turning down nothing. 20 M's, I, hey, I get in there with, I get in there with Mike, you know. Yeah. But like I say, man, that's all I got on it, man. Uh, I, I think it was a, a nice spectacle. Didn't cost you much. So um, you and your family and friends should have been entertained for, you know, um, for a night. But, uh, yeah, good spectacle. Can't say it was a good boxing match. The other fighters, um, as a lot of people have said, was really good. Um, but, yeah, it was a show. They made their money. I'm not hating. You know, let that money fall. Hey, but like I say, y'all let me know what you think down in the comments below. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Till next time, it's your boy Kang Hitter. I'm out.